We had to work real time with an active attacker inside the environment. There was no alternative for this one. We had to kick the bad guy out of the environment. We had to stop them. My name is Chris Brewer. I'm a consulting director at Unit 42, which is part of Palo Alto Networks. This company was a large global marketing company. They identified some suspicious activity from one of their administrator accounts. They looked at that activity and they found potentially 200 or so victims within their organization. And they sent a text message to the phone saying, hey, your expired password, click here to log in. They came up with company name-sso.com, saying click here to log in. Users put in their credentials just like they expect. Meanwhile, the bad guy is sitting on the back end, capturing all of that information. And that's how they got that initial foothold, that initial access into the environment. They wanted answers right away. What accounts were compromised? What data was taken? They needed to know their total risk level. And that's something we strive to answer when we engage with clients. The first thing we leveraged was our threat intelligence team. We engage them as soon as we're engaged with a client. The threat actor in this one, they're known as Muddled Libra. They are probably one of the most tenacious attack groups that we've dealt with. Not only gonna try once, they're gonna try again and again until they've got what they wanted. We had to stop them from accessing that financial data. We were actually tracking this threat group, Muddled Libra, ahead of time. We already know their domains. We already know where they're coming from. Cutting those off at the head, blocking IP addresses, doing geolocation blocking. We also worked with the client's HR team and their legal team with the council and saying, hey, we need to send out a notification to all the employees that you are under attack by a very dedicated, relentless adversary. The challenge with this one was customer support accounts that were compromised. Those accounts normally log into customer accounts. It's normal, legitimate activity. But how do you identify legitimate activity versus bad guy activity? How do you identify what is expected behavior versus what is unexpected behavior? One of the things that we identified as we were reviewing log data is the bad guy was really focused on financial data. They can fish potentially millions of other victims with that. About a week later after that, they were compromised again. We're like, what's going on? And this time they changed tactics. The bad guys were doing your traditional phishing emails. So they did what's called a lookalike domain. So they replaced the letter I with the letter L in the company's name. And when you're looking at your phone at 5 a.m. when you first roll out of bed, it's really hard to spot that stuff. So we got that cut off as well, which was fantastic. We were going through the remediation phase, pretty much putting together our final report for a client and counsel, identifying all the impacted accounts. About a month later, Council calls us up and says, hey, guess what? They're back. We had a really good head start because we knew who the threat actor was. We knew how to contain it. And that one was a much quicker containment reactions that we took to be able to identify those compromised accounts really quickly. The idea after an attack is we do the after action report. We walk through with a client things that could have like as key takeaways. Here's the things you need to look at. Here's the things you need to plan for. Here's how we can help plan those. You can go through and do these steps to be more secure overall. We want to have that long-term engagement with them to be their vendor of choice, to be their security partner of choice, to say, hey, you've got a terrible day today with this ransomware event or this smishing event or whatever it is. We got you taken care of. We want to walk alongside you and make sure that you're secure for tomorrow and the future in 10 years from now, because we want you to be successful. That's going to help us with our success too.